Hi friends, welcome back to Disneyland. Mom and I are happy to be back in the parks today. So happy y'all are joining us. I am forecasting a magical day for <laughs> all of us. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna go taste some new foods. They look like they have some delicious yeah, new they do. fries in DCA. Yeah. We wanna tell you what is yummy. Of course, we're gonna go look at the new merch see what came out this week. Disney debuted more to the Foodie Line collection. Yep. It's really cute, so cute. lollipops. Yeah. We're gonna do some pin trading along the way and see what magic we can find. What do you think, Ma? I think it sounds great. So everybody, go get yours on and let's go to Disney California Adventure. a very happy Esplanade development. I'm hanging out by one of the new poles and they have all the Pixar Fest banners. They are so adorable. It is so tricky to pick your favorite one, but I'm a child of the 90s, so my favorite Pixar movie is definitely Toy Story. I just love the sweetness of all the friendships. Woody is the cutest with him and Buzz. And of course, I love the little green aliens. I think everybody does. They're just the cutest. What's your favorite Pixar movie? Let us know. Thank you, have a great day. We just made it into Buena Vista Street and they got the invitation to Pixar Fest decorations too. They're so cute, all the little banners. I love how they're in the rainbow colors and they have all the little characters on top. They're just precious. Yay! Our favorite mouse is out meeting and greeting on Buena Vista Street. So we jumped in line. Let's say hi to Mickey. He looks so cute in his little suspenders. <laughs> hi, Mickey. You look so cute today. Thank you. We love your ears too. We also love your Pixar banners. Did you and your friends stay up all night decorating? You did such a good job. Best friends ever. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. I am so happy we all got to say hello to the big cheese yep. on Buena Vista Street. He is just the sweetest, cutest little oh, he mouse. he is. He is. I think he wanted to dance with you, Mama. I think he did. <laughs> we just love his little suspenders. Papa used to wear little suspenders like Mickey Hawk. Yes, so he did. Cute. He would get out, yeah. put his little t-shirt on, pants, and little suspenders. Yeah. So we always just love seeing Mickey. What an awesome way to start the day. It really was. Yep. Five and Dime is always such a fun time. I love their songs, but usually I don't know which ones they're singing. <laughs> but Mama did this time. Which I one was did. it? It was Billy Holiday's Them Their Eyes. It was <laughs> so nice. And Diana Ross actually played the star in the movie. Oh, really? In, yeah. Yeah. With Billy D. Holiday as her co star. Great movie. Good ears, Great Ma. song. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now that we saw Mickey Mouse, saw some new decorations on Buena Vista Street. There's a new churro over in Hollywood land that we really want to try, tell you if it's good. So let's head that way. Our California sun has finally popped out today. It's a little mix of weather. Now, if you're planning on visiting Disneyland soon, just make sure it come in layers because it was raining a little while ago. Right now it's about 50 degrees, it's warm in the sun. Next week it's supposed to be 85 again. So just bring your layers. <laughs> This churro is very pretty looking. I was looking at it as I was carrying it away from the churro cart over in Hollywood land. The cream, the chocolate chips, this looks tasty. Now, we are part Italian, so I've eaten a lot of cannolis in my day, so I hope this cannoli churro is just as tasty as all of those. So this is the cannoli churro. It is a churro rolled in cinnamon sugar, topped with cannoli cream, chocolate chips, I love chocolate, and puff pastry. This looks super tasty. Let's try it. It's a little messy with the, the cream, but that's okay. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. 
Mm. This is really, really good. I know I say this sometimes, but I do believe this is my new favorite churro in all of Disneyland. I wish this little baby was staying past the food and wine festival. As soon as you bite into it, that cannoli cream is absolutely delicious. If clouds had a taste, I think that's what this would taste like. It has a little bit of ricotta in it. I do believe that's a type of cheese mixed in with whipped cream. It is so good. Just a hint of sweetness. It pairs so nicely with the churro, the cinnamon, and the, the churro is nice and fresh. It's nice and doughy. The chocolate chips give it just a little bit of bitterness with the chocolate taste. And the puff pastry, I'm not really sure if I taste it, but I think it gave it just a little bit of texture. It is so yummy. If you're in Disneyland, DCA, Hollywood Studios area, definitely try this churro before it leaves. I really enjoy it. I think you'll like it too. That cannoli churro was absolutely delicious. I really enjoyed it. But we're right next to the Studio Catering Co. And they have a new burrito out. Me and Mama, we need something savory to eat. So let's try it and see if it goes. It looks really yummy. It's chicken and turmeric. It comes with cilantro sauce. Let's see if it's good. The Studio Catering Co. food truck, I think, is the cutest food truck I've ever seen. It's a Coca-Cola truck, and I love seeing Coca-Cola anything because it always makes me think of my little baby niece. She loves Coca-Cola soda, and she always says, Coca-Cola. <laughs> So today we're going to be trying the chicken butter burrito. This comes with garlic, turmeric rice, and cilantro chutney. Turmeric is, it's in the ginger family, and it kind of has a little bit of like spiciness to it. Some people think it tastes like mustard, but it's the prettiest yellow color. Let's try this burrito. It smells really good and fragrant, so I can't wait to try. Cheers, everybody. That's really yummy. I love burritos, so I'm always excited to try any burrito. As soon as you bite into it, the flour tortilla, those are my favorite kind of tortillas to have. It's really, it's nice and fresh. The burrito itself is warm. The butter chicken has a very good name because it tastes very buttery, tender. It has nice big chunks in the burrito. And then the rice is really delicious too. The turmeric, it's actually a really like gentle flavor, at least to me. It tastes really yummy. I think I do taste just a little bit of like ginger and just the most mild of spice. Like to me, on a spice meter, it would probably be two out of 10. And then it looks like it also has like some roasted tomatoes or maybe like red peppers in it. This is a really delicious burrito. Let's give it a little try with the ch uh, cilantro chutney sauce now. Okay, let's see. I was really happy to see that they put the cilantro chutney on the side. Because for me personally, cilantro is a very strong herb. It tastes sort of like soapish to me, so I didn't think I would care for it. But it's exactly what it says. It's a nice little cilantro chutney. If you like cilantro, I'm sure you would enjoy it with this chicken butter burrito. The flavor I would think would complement it. But me personally, I'm just gonna eat the burrito and enjoy it just with the chicken, the turmeric rice, and those little roasted tomatoes or peppers. This is really yummy. Now it does cost $14, but it's a nice size burrito. If you're passing by the cutest food truck ever, the Coca-Cola truck, definitely try this. I think you'll enjoy it. Here are our pins for the start of the day. I love little Star Star, the Wish Star. She's so cute. What'd you think of all our foodie treats, Ma? I loved them. I thought they were really tasty. I love the churro cannoli. It was very good. I love the cream <laughs> that on it. was really good. Yeah. That's about as close to a real cannoli <laughs> as you can get in, in churro DC. form. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. And the burrito was really very delicious. I, I liked that burrito too. Yeah. And it wasn't heavy. It was really light actually. It was. Yeah. It was so light with the chicken and the turmeric rice. Oh, it was delicious. It had a very light, the turmeric had a very delicate taste to it. It did. That is a spice I really do enjoy. Yeah. I love the ginger and a little peppery mm -hmm. taste to it. It was yeah. good. How are you guys? How are you? Good and yourself? They were so good today. Thank you. We saw Mickey on Buena Vista Street. He was so cute. <laughs> I love your ears. ears are gonna blow away. <laughs> are you blowing away, Mama? I, my ears are. <laughs> it's a little blustery. Okay, now that we are all sugared up, let's go merch it up, go to the shop, see what is new this week. <laughs> Bye, Minnie. You look so pretty. Kisses. 
so cute. Thank you so much. Have a good one. The windows are always so sweet to look into. I know there's a little bit of glare, but that little bear is so cute. He's having a little tea party just like Alice. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Say we're good. Thank you. We made our way into the Elias & Co. and I really like this new Cheshi shirt. Look at him. He's so cute. He's a silly little kitty. Sometimes he loses his head, but today I think he lost his hair. <laughs> it is plain and simple on the back, nice and soft, lightweight for summertime. There's no price on it, so we're back to the Disney's prices, right? I feel like one of the characters might tell us to come on down one of these days and guess the price, but maybe about like $35. Staying on point with Alice in Wonderland. These are the new Dooney and Burke bags. I love this side body. He is so cute with little Mad Hatter having his tea party and the bunny rabbit is holding it. Alice looks precious. This is a cute side body bag. It is $238. I love the pattern in this collection. You have Cheshi and the Queen. It's really sweet. Now this one, I can't see the price tag, but I would assume maybe about $350. And then this is the even bigger bag it is very pretty themed to Alice in Wonderland look at the rabbit he's late to something this is the sweetest 101 Dalmatians little button-up shirt they are super lightweight very soft I love how all the puppies are watching TV on the old big screen the pattern is repeated on the back it is very sweet with all the little Dalmatian babies now these are all $65. If you love baby Dumbo, he is just the sweetest. I love the bright colors on his balls. He's holding his little feathers. Here is the back. And then if you love the Muppets, you can also get this one. Super cute with all of them. I love Kermy. All $65. This is a really cute and fun new Alice in Wonderland mug. I love the colors, how they are so bright. There's Cheshire in blue on a mushroom. This is like quite psychedelic. These are $20 light pink. And then the handle is cute because it's in the shape of a heart. A bucket hat to go with your new mug. I love how it matches. I really like all the bright colors. This is $35 and then really fun because it's reversible. Show them the other side, mama. You have pretty Alice and the polka dots, and then that is the cutest little bread butterfly. I love his eyes, a little antenna. Super cute. A cute new cap for the cutest Captain I know, Captain America. I like how it has the little wings on the back and the bright blue color with the nice Avengers A in the middle. Because Captain America, he's so honest, he must have angel wings. <laughs> this is $29. A new Monsters University spirit jersey. I love the bright blue. Monsters University, scaring is caring. That's an awesome slogan. <laughs> you have all the different little animations down here with the gray block on the bottom. And then it's a party on the back for Monsters University. And then you have some of the different little characters. This is so adorable. Could you imagine graduating from this school? It's not March, but usually they're about $85. A happy restock. I love this sweatshirt. Feels good to be home. And then you're with our castle. This is a really pretty baby blue. It is plain and simple on the back. It is $40. A new tumbler. I like how it's really simple. It's white and then it has our pretty castle. A little straw on top. This is $28. The Trace Caballeros, Donald and his band. We have the fireworks. This is a really pretty rainbow bow with a little guitar. On the back, we have Saludos Amigos and all their little music notes. I love the navy color. These are lounge flies, so they are $45. I really like these newer Guardians of the Galaxy ears. These are so cute. The old cassette tapes and they played the record too many times and all the tape popped out. <laughs> that used to happen with me and my brother's VHS on occasion. I like the bright rainbow colors on the back and the stars in the sky. These are $35. A pretty new pair of Prince's Jasmine ears. I love the delicate silk ears with the gold lacing. And then I love her big jewel in the center and the pretty baby blue bow. It is repeated on the back. And then it has a fun little veil with little glitter in it. These are $35. 
new mug alert here they all are these are super cute i love how they have the different characters on them mickey is so cute it looks like he's popping out of a star this one says grandpa it is 16.99 and then it's super sweet because they also say it in spanish too so grandpa abuelo we have abuela with little mickey grandma and then it goes all the way up with dad and papa and then mom and mama super cute these are really pretty pens. This is the new Princess series. I love the colors and the blue glitter. She's out in the starry sky with her rose princess bell. And I think it's pretty how they're sort of anime style. This one is yellow, so $14.99. Quasimodo with his little gargoyle friends. I really like this. You don't see Quasi on many pins. This is a nice size pin. I like the colors and it is silver, so $12.99 talk about scar being up to no good look he put <laughs> zazu in a what is this bone cage <laughs> he's naughty and i think he wanted him to sing for him but these are two nice size pins and you get both for 19.99 i do believe this hat has restocked for upcoming pixar fest this is so cute with soli and his little horns here is the back. I love how it is fuzzy with all his polka dots. It is $30, but it is very furry. It might keep you hot in the summer. So maybe this is really good for the winter. <laughs> if you need Mike's buddy, this is super cute. I love his big eye horns and then his little legs and hands up there on Mickey's ears. It is repeated on the back and this is $25. Mickey is a wise and sweet mouse. Life's a walk in the park at Disneyland. I love this shirt. I love the cheese in his classic colors and big little walking feet. This is a nice white t-shirt. It's not marked, but I would think about $35. It is so precious. And look, there's little Minnie, his better half right next to him. <laughs> We found our lollipop collection, the addition to the foodie line. I love the back of the spirit jersey. I think the colors are so fun and they're little Mickey lollipops. This is the back, it's a party, so I had to show it to you first. And then on the front, you have the really pretty Disneyland D and the puffy writing, the lollipops continue. This isn't marked, but usually about $85. The fun lounge fly that goes with the lollipop foodie collection. I love the bright colors on this. The side pockets are very pretty. It has all the little Mickey shaped lollies and I love the front pocket with the golden zippers. Even has a little bite. Somebody couldn't wait to eat it. <laughs> it has the green straps continued on the back and then the fun little lollipops. This is $88. Every lounge fly needs a pair of ears to go with it. These are really pretty. I like the colors. I think they're fun for springtime. The pattern repeats on the back. The ears are a nice, soft little velvet. And I mean, if this doesn't make you think lollipops and Princess Leia, I don't know what would. These have the little Disney Eats on the side. Cute little headband and they're $40. A fun tumbler. Disneyland looks so pretty with the little lollipop under the eye. I like the pinwheel design. You have the Starbucks mermaid right here, the pretty prism dome top, and I love how they are making the straws so colorful in this collection. Is this $30, Mama? It is $29.99. <laughs> Thank you. Some new long sleeve tees. I love how iconic this is with Walt and Mickey in front of the castle. This is a nice mint green, plain and simple on the back. This one is $40. They're all nice and soft. And then thank you for being you. How sweet is this with Mickey and Minnie? It says Disneyland on the bottom. It's in a nice beige. The colors are super sweet. Also plain on the back, $40. And then this is where dreams come true, right here at Disneyland. This is so pretty. I really like this one with Mickey's face on it and the fireworks. It's in a pretty pastel white and baby blue, plain and simple on the back. This one is $45 believe in magic yes we do i love this sweatshirt and so does everybody else it is flying off the shelves it is embroidered with the magic on the front it is plain and simple on the back it's a pretty mint green and nice and soft this is fifty dollars
that was a lot of fun looking at the new merch. We came outside and it's raining. So it's exactly like we said a little bit earlier, the weather is all over the place. So now I'm under the umbrella, but I wanna head towards the Grizzly Peak area and go to Smoke Jumpers Grill because there's some new food that me and mama really wanna try. We loved the fries last time and they have some new seasonal ones that are out. So let's head that way and see what we think. Okay, me and mama made it safely into smoke jumpers. It is raining cats and dogs, mice and ducks, whatever you want to say, but I always love it in here. It's so cozy. It kind of feels like a forest diner playing Johnny Cash. So today we're gonna try the new pastrami fries. These are $8.50. They smell so good and look so tasty as I was carrying them away. So I'm excited to try them. These are the crinkle cut fries with cheese sauce, pastrami, SJG sauce, which I'm assuming is the Smoke Jumper Grill sauce. It looks like Thousand Island. I think it'll taste really good. And pickles on top. This looks super tasty. Let's try it. Cheers, everybody. I think Smoke Jumper's fries are some of the best in the whole resort. They are always hot, crispy. They're always made fresh. I've never had one that isn't good. As soon as you bite into this, I got a little bite of everything. I love pastrami. This kind of reminds me of like a deconstructed, deconstructed pastrami sandwich. The pastrami is nice and salty. It was warm. My piece was super tender. The pickles give it a little bit of bite and just a nice crunch. I like that acidity it added. The cheese sauce, I love nachos. I love Taco Bell cheese sauce. That was so good. And the Thousand Island dressing was delicious. If you can get these fries, they are very, very tasty. All these flavors complement each other so well. Try them, I think you will like them. We also got one of the seasonal drinks at Smoke Jumpers. I love trying the seasonal drinks here. Usually they're pretty tasty. So this is the Citrus Melon Punch. It is $6. And then it comes with Brock Melon Syrup, orange and lemon juices, and it's garnished with a citrus wheel, which is just a pretty orange cut. It looks really nice. Let's give it a try. I bet on a hot day too, this would be really refreshing because it's nice and icy. Like I just said, this would be a delicious hot summer drink. It is so refreshing and nice and icy. Today it's a little chilly, but this is still very tasty. I love tropical juices, so for me, this was delicious. As soon as you drink it, it tastes like, a, it just tastes like a really good mix of orange, lemon. I taste pineapple, so maybe the rock melon syrup is a little bit tropical, or like maybe like almost like a mango flavor. This is a very tasty little drink. For me, the sweet and tart together are just right. It's not overpowering either way. It is very concentrate, so if you wanted to add a little bit of water to kind of dilute it a little bit, you could. But for me personally, I enjoy it just the way it is. If you're near Smoke Jumpers, these two items, they're very good. I really enjoyed them. I think you might enjoy them too. Let us know what you think. Okay, my advice to everybody is do not sleep on Smoke Jumpers no. food. It is so tasty, especially their seasonal offerings thus far. I thought they were just great. <laughs> I they, thoroughly enjoy them. They have not disappointed. At all. I really loved that juice. It was so tasty. I think they're borrowing pineapple <laughs> dough juice from Disneyland. <laughs> it was really tasty. And those fries were really good too, right, oh, Mama? the fries were delicious with the pastrami and the Thousand oh, Island and the cheese and the pickles for a great little salty <laughs> crunch. It was really good. It was I want to get them again. I know, yeah. maybe next time. Yeah. <laughs> We made our way into Kingswell shop and look at these new mugs. These are so pretty with the old style sketch art. This one is Minnie. She seems to be chasing a little birdie. She's so happy about it. <laughs> these are all $16.99. They are very comfortable to hold. And then they have the matching colors of the character on the inside. Here is little Tinkerbell. I love her peeping through the door hole. This one is, oh my gosh, and then she gets stuck in it. <laughs> These are so pretty. Oh, and there she is with her pixie dust and the thimble on her head. These are so classic and beautiful. I love her green pixie color on the inside. This is mama's favorite. I'll show you my favorite next. <laughs> 
And here he is, the sweetest little honey bear ever. I love how Winnie is chasing butterflies and he's fallen over from pure joy. And then he is yellow on the inside like honey. These are so precious again, all $17 another adorable winnie the pooh mug oh my gosh i love how he's eating his honey he's so happy and then it has a little honey stick up here so mama was saying maybe you put the honey in the tea with this one and then how cute is this he's got himself stuck in a little tree this is twenty dollars and eeyore is also a guest in winnie the pooh's honey tree i love the little bees on the side of this one this is adorable you have the little bow on his tail and then this one comes with a really pretty rainbow cloudy spoon so mama was saying this one must be for the coffee these are so cute also twenty dollars Jungle Book is really rare to see in mugs. I don't believe I've ever seen one. You've got Bagheera, little Mowgli. Oh, this is so cute with him and Baloo. It is nice and big for your morning coffee or tea. This is $20 false alarm there is another jungle book mug this is so cute and baby blue and just look at these buddies Mowgli and Baloo hanging out in the water I really like this just bear with me always good advice it is a pretty baby blue it has the B on the side and then this one is also $20 Fantasmic rarely gets merch. I love this pin. Look at Sorcerer and Mickey. I cannot wait to see that cheese next month. This is such a pretty nice size pin. And then it has little Pinocchio, Simba, and Sebastian. I wonder if this is the hint about some of the new scenes coming. This is yellow, so $14.99. Hades looks like he doesn't know what to tell us with that stance. This is a really nice Hercules pin. I like how he has his little smoke down here. He's in the clouds. This is pink. So I do believe $11.99. Hercules, he can go the distance. I love this song. This and You'll Be In My Heart from Tarzan, two of my top favorites. This is a really pretty pin. I like the ocean in the background. This is silver, so $12.99. Mr. Incredible with little baby Jack Jack eating his num num. Look at the cookie jar. I wonder how many cookies he eats a day, Mama. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> this is silver, so $12.99. Mrs. Incredible on her motorcycle, Elastigirl. This is cute, also silver. Cheshi is too cute riding in his teacup. He is so sweet and up to no good. Look at his little smile. This is a cute Turner pin. I'm not sure what's on the other side because I can't move it, but it's such a pretty pin. It is yellow, $14.99. Our pin haul for the day. I'm so happy with these because we didn't see that many pin boards because of the rain. But look at little baby Oswald. He's the cutest little bunny egg. And I'm so happy we got him in DCA, Ma. I know I am too. <laughs> One day we will all meet Oswald, okay? <laughs> we, we are working on it. We haven't seen that rabbit yet. And then when we checked the pin pouch of the cast member earlier, she had a little trivia pin in her pocket. And the question was, what was Nemo's mom's name? <laughs> I knew his father was Merlin, but the cast member was really nice and gave us a hint. And he said, it's what they live in. So I said, Coral. <laughs> and it was right. So I was really happy with all these finds. Okay, friends, me and Mama are calling it a Disney night. We had so much fun today. Thank you so much for coming along with us. What was your favorite part of the day, Ma? Oh, I must say... Um you know, meeting Mickey. So much I fun. thought that might be your answer. <laughs> meeting that cheese is always so much fun. He's just the cutest. We love all the decorations yeah. him and his friends have put up for Pixar Fest. So cute. We cannot wait to see more and we cannot wait to show you more of Pixar Fest. That'll be so much fun it coming will be a lot up. Of fun. I yeah. also really love trying the foods today. They were really good. They all tasted very delicious. They that did. That cannoli churro really has stuck with me. That and the Mickey Snickers macaron, my favorite desserts from this festival. Mine too. I love them. Yeah. Me and Ma were like foodie twins. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a very big thumbs up. If you love Disneyland content, please do consider subscribing. We will be back for more. Mom and I hope y'all are having a great, big, beautiful night wherever you are. And we'll see y'all again real soon. So until next time, Disneyland. Good night. Good night. Wow, mom and I are about to get in our car in the parking lot and the Pizza Planet truck is parked here. It is so cute. And look, all the little Toy Story toys are in there. <laughs> this is adorable. Good night, Disneyland.